So hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I would like to show you how you can build a very low cost thrust stand which will enable you to do your own thrust measurements uh, for your motor and propeller combination together with your LiPo. It is very low cost. All you need are the following components which you can get at any hardware store so they should be very easy to to, to get. You need one of these regular brackets, so there's nothing special about them. I guess all of you know them. Then you will need a U-bracket, one of these, with uh, these little holes on the side. This is important, I will show you why. Uh, the next thing you need is a rod. In my case it's a brass rod, but you can use any material which uh, is available at your hardware store. This was just the cheapest for my case. And you will need a tube. Again, for me it's a press tube. Uh, the important thing is that the rod fits inside the tube and that the rod fits, tightly fits inside one of these holes from the U bracket. Once you got these components, the, the building, that the thrust stand is relatively easy. I have prepared this already, so I will put these two away, because I have already done this. All you need is a piece of this uh, press tube, in my case, you can use any tube you want. And I have simply glued this here at the center of the bracket. Uh, what you will also need to do is... You see, there is only one hole here in this bracket, so I had uh, to, to make another hole uh, for mounting the motor. I tried it before and it also worked well with just a single hole, but I uh, uh, made another hole just to be sure that this is mounted safely. So once you have this bracket, the tube glued in, and then you have this other side. There is also something special here. You can see if you turn it around. I have this little plastic thing here. I simply got it from some standoffs. And the important thing is this little plastic will push onto your scales. In order to have uh, valid measurements, you have to make sure that the distance from here, from the center to the plastic, is the same distance as from the center to the center of the motor here. You see, to the center of the center of the motor here, because otherwise, due to the leverage effect, you wouldn't get accurate measurements. So, try to measure this exactly: center of the motor, uh, distance, center of the motor to the center of the bracket equals the distance. From the center of the bracket to this plastic hinge here. This is important. Once you have that, uh, as you can see here, I have just used this U bracket and glued it to some uh, wood. This is just to give it some 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 stabilization, because otherwise everything will fly away. This is also like a, a improvised solution. I will make maybe another thrust sand where I do this otherwise, but it works very well as it is. Once you have that, you can simply uh, put that in. Use this uh, rod and go through the hole of the U bracket and through the tube and go out at the other side. And basically you are done. So this is your thrust stand. Uh, what you can see here, I have this little rubber band around it. This is simply uh, that when I have set this up, that the motor will not go uh, in the opposite direction. This is simply to avoid damage of the propellers. I have already shown you how I set this up. So basically, you put this part where you have this little plastic rod on your scales and uh, you set up the motor as a pusher 
So when it push that way, the amount of thrust will show on your scales. I will show it this to you. So I have already set this up as a pusher. So once that runs, the amount, you can see it better that way, the amount will show on your scales. And that is the thrust which you have from this motor propeller LiPo combination. So let's try it out. I have a simple old ESC here, then I have a simple measurement for uh, watt, watts, ampere, and so on here. So let's just check if I have set up everything correctly. Yeah, and of course, sorry for that, I have a servo tester here. So put it here, maybe you can see it better. I have a servo tester here, which will allow me to just uh, uh, control the motor, the amount of thrust on the motor. You can, of course, also use a regular receiver uh, for this, but it's much easier with the servo tester. So I will just turn this on. You can see here, it's not a fully charged light, but I hope you can see it. It's currently at 12.1. Uh, words and then the scales are at zero again I had this press a bit against the scale so I moved it away again and now we can check how this works so I will simply turn on the servo tester I will turn up it I will turn it up so I'll increase the value and here you can see uh, just to remove some paper here and here you will see that uh, the, the, the amount of thrust which the motor has at the specific voltage and the specific amperes. So at 0 0.3 amperes at 12 volts we have a thrust of 23 grams of this multi-star motor with this 5.4 uh, uh, gamfam prop. So I will turn this up a bit for you. So two important things happened here. Once you saw that I got to about five, uh, 420 grams of thrust uh, with full power and you also got the amps here. And another important thing which you noticed, which I actually wanted to mention before is that we almost had a little accident here because that little rod, as you can see, due to the vibrations went out of this. So what I suggest you and what I will do is just uh, to, to, to uh, take some plastic here and glue it onto this rod so that it cannot move uh, out of the hole like it just happened. So, what else do we have to say here? Yeah, so this is a very simple, easy uh, thrust stand. Uh, we saw that we got about 415 grams of thrust. So, how can I know that this works? How can I know that the value is correct? This is very simple. Uh, there are many uh, uh, thrust measurements available for this combination. So, I just googled some on our she groups of people using professional equipment doing these thrust measurements all day and they got a similar value. So they also got about 410, 415 grams of thrust with this combination. So for me that's fine. For me that means this is working accurately and I'm happy. If you are happy as well, <laughs> if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you have comments, please write them below uh, the, in the uh, below the comments 
uh, below the video description. I would be very happy about comments and most importantly, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will soon uh, make your own thrust stat.